welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D. So there are 28 starships currently in fleet and in today's video I will be going through the top 10 best ship reinforcement abilities and giving some honourable mentions. If you enjoy the video then please leave a like and if you're wanting to see more videos like this all you gotta do is subscribe. But with all that said and done let's jump in to the top 10. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Coming in at number 10 we have Big Star Lighter's X-Wing reinforcement ability Engine Tuning. So first of all, Capital Games need to change this ship's name to the Red Free. How much cooler does that sound to have his actual name instead of saying Big Star Lighter's X-Wing? Red Free is already an amazing ship and without bringing out my geek facts, I would have to say this ship is the most used ship in fleet currently. But that is not the reason he is on this top 10 list today. However, the reason he is on this list today because his reinforcement ability is pretty damn good. You're probably thinking right now, Smithy, what the F are you talking about? Biggs is a starting ship and has always been a starting ship. You are indeed correct, from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? When Red Free enters the battle, it gains protection up for two turns and inflicts target lock on a target enemy for two turns, which cannot be evaded or resisted. So anybody that is familiar with the Red Free, when a target lock is inflicted, the Red Free gains taunt and recovers protection. So the Red Free is going to enter the battle with a 30% protection up and an opening taunt. Then versus that target locked enemy, it's going to allow you to use his special ability, Academy Maneuver, which is going to allow you to call a random ally to assist attack. Currently, Biggs is the go-to ship for most starting lineups, but as the game progresses, this reinforcement ability is definitely one that should not be underestimated. Coming in at number 9, we have the Ghost's reinforcement ability, Reconnaissance. The Ghost is such a powerful ship that can be used under any capital ship when partnered with the Phantom. When the Ghost enters the battle, it inflicts critical chance down on all enemies for 2 turns and then inflicts target lock for enemies that suffer from Ghost's critical chance down, which cannot be evaded or resisted. This is a great reinforcement for recovering protection on the Red 5 or applying debuffs to increase your fleet's offense under a Tarkin capital ship. Crit Chance Down is also going to help your fleet with a little bit extra of survivability. <laughs> Coming in at number 8, we have the Gauntlet Starfighter's reinforcement ability, Viceroy of Mandalore. This reinforcement can work really well in any lineup, but will really exceed in an Empire Squadron. When entering the battle, this ship will recover 30% protection on all allies. Additionally, Empire allies gain 30% max protection increase. So this reinforcement can come in handy considering Empire currently have low amounts of protection. So when running this ship as a reinforcement, it's going to recover 30% protection, provide Empire allies with a 30% max protection increase, and on top of this, with the use of its special ability, it reinvigorate, it's going to give your Empire allies 60% protection buff for two turns. And the same special ability will dispel all debuffs from all allies. So if you are needing that heal, that extra survivability for your TIE Advanced or the TIE Fighter, the Gauntlet Starfighter is your go-to reinforcement. Coming in at number 7, we have the Umbarian Starfighter's reinforcement ability, Advanced Defense Systems. To get the max out of this reinforcement ability, I would say it's a situational ship. The aim here is to bring in this reinforcement when the enemy has a low amount of turn meter. When this starship enters the battle, it removes 25% turn meter from all enemies which cannot be evaded and grants all allies defense up for two turns, then inflicts target lock on all enemies with 0% turn meter which cannot be evaded or resisted. With the removal of that 25% turn meter, and if you can get any of the enemy ships down to 0% turn meter, they're going to receive a target lock. Then it's going to allow you to use the Embarian Missile Pods, which is then going to deal 20% more damage to all enemies that have target lock. And it's going to do a massive AoE attack versus target locked enemies. And this attack can make a huge 
difference. And on top of that, when this Starfighter attacks, it gains 30% turn meter and the targeted enemies gain 20% turn meter. Additionally, when this Starfighter attacks, it gains 5% offense stacking, but at the cost of losing 5% defense and that is also stacking. So what you have here is a reinforcement that can come in, change the tide of the battle and flick those target locks, use his AoE attack to attack the target locks, gain a bunch of turn meter and gain some stacking offense. This is a situational starship and as long as all those cards play into your hand, you're going to clear out a lot of the enemy ships. If you have the red free already in your lineup, them target locks are going to regain a lot of protection for that starship. Roger, I haven't completed my calculations. I'll make them for you. Coming in at number six, we have Cassian's reinforcement ability, Rebel Recon. This ship is amazing in a Rebel lineup, but his reinforcement ability, Rebel Recon, is an ability that can be used in any lineup in Fleet. When this U-Wing enters the battle, it dispels all buffs on all enemies, inflicts offense down and defense down on the target enemy for two turns, which cannot be evaded or resisted. This reinforcement is a great way to counter in the Slave One or any ships that are taunting. Upon entering the battle and using the special ability, Gorilla Strike partnered with some rebels is going to do some hefty damage. Good to see you, General. Ready to have some fun? You know me, Broadside. I'd rather be up here than stuck in a command center. Coming in at number 5, we have Clone Sergeant's ARC-170's Reinforcement Ability, Structural Enhancement. This reinforcement can be used in any lineup. When the ARC-170 enters the battle, it gains protection up and taunts while it has protection. This ship can be a pain in the ass when it enters the battle with its taunt, as the ARC-170 is capable of recovering its own protection with its special ability, Overcharge. The really good thing about this reinforcement ability is that you can use this ship from the get-go and you do not need to add any Omegas if you're not worried about that protection up, as he will enter the battle at level 1 reinforcement with his taunt while he has protection. Coming in at number 4, we have Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter Reinforcement Ability, Commander of the 104th Battalion. I really like Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter as a reinforcement. When this ship enters a battle, it will dispel all debuffs from all allies and heal them for 40% health and protection. On top of that, using his special ability, Wings of the Republic, is going to allow you to force a taunt on a selected ally. This in itself can change the tide of the battle with that all important heal, healing those ships that you want to keep alive, then you can just force a taunt on whoever you determine worthy. And on top of that, when he enters the battle, he's going to dispel all the negative effects on all your ships. Coming in at number 3, we have Slave 1's Reinforcement Ability, All Out Offensive. The Slave 1 is probably going to be one of the most used reinforcements in Fleet. Upon entering the battle, the Slave 1 gains Taunt, Retribution up and Protection up for 2 turns and Critical Hit Immunity for 3 turns, then inflicts an Ability Block on the targeted enemy for 1 turn, which cannot be evaded or resisted. The really good thing about the Slave 1's reinforcement ability that it does not cost any reinforcement mats to have the taunt and retribution and it still afflicts that ability block on the targeted enemy upon entering the battle. If you are wanting to add that survivability to that then you are going to need to upgrade that to add the crit immunity and that protection up. But it will shine more with the home one with its out of turn attacks from its retribution with the extra critical damage that it would receive and also that protection up. Firing now. Coming in at number 2, we have the Phantom 2's reinforcement ability, Covert Strike. When the Phantom 2 enters the battle, it gains stealth advantage and offense up for 2 turns and reduces the cooldown of the call reinforcement on the allied capital ship by 1. 
This reinforcement has all the things that you want on a reinforcement ship. With that stealth, it's going to be protected for two turns. It's going to have advantage, so that's going to be a guaranteed crit. And it's also going to have offense for higher attacking damage. This ship does fantastic with the Ghost 1, so you wanted to bring the ship in first because it's going to have that survivability with the stealth, then bring in the Ghost afterwards. <laughs> So coming in at number one is Sunfax Geonosian Starfighter. When this Geonosian enters the battle, it stuns the targeted enemy for one turn, which cannot be evaded or resisted and removes 15% turn meter from all other enemies. Then on top of that, he has a special ability called the Prime Target, which can also stun another enemy. Then if you use this reinforcement ship with the Tarkin capital ship, he's going to gain retribution offense. This starship is capable of taunting versus buffed enemies, and with that retribution, every time he counterattacks, he's going to target lock the enemy. So with no doubt in my mind, some fact takes the title of the number one reinforcement ability. So what is your thoughts on this video? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, then please make sure that you do hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see future content. Thank you very much for watching today and I hope you have a lovely day. I'm the Smithy D. May the force be with you always.